Rich, heavenly spiced butter chicken made from scratch in less than 30 minutes. I mean, this is a weeknight meal saver for me any time of the week. So this is my studio spice cupboard and just like my spice cupboard at home, it is very well organized, which is the way I like it. Now there are a lot of spices and things here and I think that when people talk about making a curry from scratch, often that elicits some kind of fear about all the spices that you need. But actually my little weeknight butter chicken recipe from scratch requires only four spices. That's it. Let's go make butter chicken. All right, so this is so easy, guys. There's not even gonna be any chopping or blending here. We do have to do a little bit of prep, but it just involves a little bit of grating. So I've got my ginger here, and my little trick for peeling the ginger is just a teaspoon and take away that skin. It's great. A good tablespoon or so. I think one of the things that puts people off about making a curry is actually, you know, all the bits, the blender, cleaning that, you know, chopping everything, just, you know, a little time consuming for a weeknight. And also with butter chicken, and I do have a really great traditional butter chicken recipe actually, um, but with butter chicken, you know, there's marinating and grilling the chicken if you're gonna do it really properly. This one kind of shortcuts all of that. And we're actually gonna use a rotisserie chicken to get a little bit of extra, you know, that kind of extra barbecue chicken flavor without having to get the barbecue out. And some garlic as well. Now there might be some of you asking below, I'm gonna preempt the question, about whether or not you could use jarred garlic or jarred ginger here. Now my short answer is no, please do, do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> it just has such a weird flavour, Those jar the jarred garlic and the jarred ginger. We often say here that it's only psychopaths that use the jarred garlic or ginger. So do with that what you will. <laughs> but that doesn't take very long to do, so. All right, now we're already ready to get going with our sauce. So I'm gonna grab my spices. And I love that this is, you know, only four spices that you need to keep on hand. This one is a little special. So it's a Kashmiri mild chili powder. You can order it online. I love it because the color is so vibrant and that's what gives you that great like butter chicken red color. But if you can't get a hold of this, just some sweet paprika is fine as well. In fact, I am gonna use sweet paprika as well because that kind of keeps it a little milder. And my kids love this one. So I like to keep it a bit mild for them. Okay, but we're gonna start off with some butter. Add the butter into your pan, and as it's melting, just take your green cardamom pods and lightly crush them. This will help to release their flavor into the sauce. Cinnamon stick. Mm, slices just make me happy. Just give all of that a little bit of a stir. The cardamom pods to me immediately make me think butter chicken. It's that distinctive smell. Now here are the grated ingredients we did, the garlic and the ginger. Just give that a minute or so for that garlic to kind of lose its raw edge. And because I want a really smooth, kind of creamy texture to my butter chicken sauce, and I don't want to do any blending, I'm not using any onion for this particular version. I'm going to use tomato passata because of course if I use crushed tomatoes and I've got to blend them, these are all just little hacks that I've got to make things go a little quicker. Kashmiri chili powder goes in. Now this is where you can adjust the spice to your liking. It is a mild chili powder, so I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon and that will be kind of like a mild dish medium kind of heat. And they're not traditional, but I've got some sweet paprika here just to boost the color without boosting the chili heat. Some sugar, salt. I'm just gonna turn the heat down really low here and just let it kind of like barely bubble and steam for around about 10 minutes, which gives me time to break down my chicken. So we are doing the cheats version and I am using a store-bought rotisserie chicken. And I just, you know, there's nothing wrong with this kind of chicken. It's delicious, it's yum. You can use it for sandwiches, salads, and this dish, obviously. 
I am definitely not a food snob when it comes to shortcuts. Now I am going to take the legs off. I just find the legs kind of like break up too much into little shreds and I want nice kind of like chunks of chicken for this purpose. Okay, so just cut down the middle here. And I am a skin on kind of girl. There is so much flavor in there. I am not missing out on that. So I try to keep the skin intact where I can and then slice into nice bite-sized little chunks. Ah, mother, what are you doing over there? You can come in if you want. I'm a oh, Hello everyone. <laughs> Look at that, what you got here? I like how you just come straight in and you're presenting to camera, huh? <laughs> always on. Always on. That. Always on. Beautiful. It What's is this one. It's, I made it myself. <laughs> it's Marion's best roast chicken. That's right, yeah, Marion always makes the best roast chicken. It's nice. That's the best one. Thank you. What's that, you're chili? very nice to me. Uh, it is butter chicken. Butter chicken? Yeah, you like That's butter. That's my favourite. <laughs> Everything's your favourite. <laughs> My favourite is butter chicken. Your favourite, better than Thai green curry? No. Uh, no, so no. not quite your favourite. Thai green curry, Marion is the best. Okay, alright. Better than butter chicken. <laughs> alright, well I'm going to continue with my butter chicken. Yep. Okay. You're going to come back and eat some later? Huh? You're going to come back and eat some later? Yeah, I eat some. Okay, alright. I like it. Okay, alright. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, bye bye everyone. <laughs> She's talking to a stadium of people. <laughs> she just strutted She's off. Strutting away <laughs> okay, after that brief interlude there, I am ready to put my chicken into the sauce. So just gently mix that through. And then I'm gonna add in some cream. that color I mean as I'm mixing it's just magically coming together and is all of a sudden butter chicken it is very exciting look at that we just made it from scratch in like five minutes <laughs> so good that actually is faster than ordering takeout final bits and pieces here I'm gonna plate up and show you a little way to make this even more special without very much effort to serve alongside my butter chicken, I like to have some fresh onion. And this is what I loved about eating um, butter chicken in Delhi, actually. Uh, and they always served it with like this onion and the chili and the lime. And I loved that. And I particularly like it because then I can add my own fresh chili if I've made it particularly mild for the kids. So I've got that and also some store-bought naan bread because again, I'm not gonna be a hero on a weeknight. This is already looking delightful. Let's make it even more so. Here is our butter chicken. Now, just a little bit of yogurt here as well. I've just thinned it out with a little bit of water. Just to make a nice little bit of acidity at the end. And here's like a little optional special thing to add. Traditionally, you would have what's called kasuri methi. I don't know if I've said that right. Someone can correct me in the comments if I haven't, but it's basically fenugreek leaves. And a really good Indian restaurant, that's the, the kind of smell you get as the butter chicken comes out of, you know, out of the kitchen. So if you can get a hold of these, please do. But if not, dried mint works very well as well. And there you go, my friends. That has got to be record time butter chicken, i got to say. And it just... Oh, it looks so good, I'm so happy with it. And you know what? I am more than happy to be eating it. That's just so good. <laughs> you know, the rotisserie chicken just gives you that little extra bit of flavor there that I think just adding in chicken breast or chicken thigh wouldn't have done. And that sauce. Oh. Yum. Yeah.